Good afternoon and welcome to the very last Teen Take and Make from Manlius Library for 2020. This, year, this week we're going to be making memory jars. You have a whole bunch of things in your, best, in your bag if you picked up a kit, including an instruction sheet and a paintbrush and a little jar and some pots of paint, all different colors. A little round label that we can set aside for now. A ribbon that we can set aside for now. Also a clear plastic plate that we can set aside. That's for using up your extra paint. Um, a little booklet of sorts that says 2021 is here. Let's celebrate the new year. And it's got a bunch of different things inside it. Things you can do. There's bookmarks to color, uh, favorite things to do, uh, thing to do on New Year's Eve. You can write stories. There's some coloring pages and puzzles. And then you can do a portrait of yourself this year as you change in, as we change into 2021. So that's just some fun things to get through the end of the year. There's also an instruction sheet. Four little pots of paint. Mine happen to be blue, orange, green, and purple. Everybody has four different colors. A paintbrush. You can use uh, a different paintbrush if you have one that you really like. You're welcome to use that. A small jar and two sheets of 2021 memories. And I'll explain those after. We're going to start. Oh, one thing that you need for part one of this is a cup of water for rinsing your brushes. Now, the first thing you can do is take the top off the jar and set it aside. The paints that I have provided, that we have provided this time, are um, sun catcher paints, window paints, glass paints, that kind of paint. So they're not going to be real opaque like the acrylics that we've been using in other projects. And they are also not as water soluble. So you want to be a little more careful. These are definitely, these definitely stain. Okay. So I'm going to start with purple and all you're going to do is paint the outside of your jar. However you want it. You could do a design. Now you can see what I mean. These are going to be much more transparent. And that's so, as you're building your memories throughout 2021, you can, um, you can see them. Your jar will look pretty, but you can still kind of see and keep an eye on what's going on inside when you drop your memories in. Okay. So you're just going to paint it. Nice, even strokes. Using the water to rinse your brush. Make sure you cap your paints in between. One thing I didn't get that you will need is a cloth for drying your brush in between. So I'm going to get that. I'll be right back. Okay. I've got a cloth for my brush. The other thing you're going to need a little bit later is a pen. So I grabbed that at the same time. So let's rinse and dry that. And we're going to move on to blue. Like I said, you could do a pattern, you can do a design, you can draw pictures. I am just going to do something very simple. If you would prefer to decorate your jar in any other way, feel free. I really like the look of, um, water or of um, stain catcher paints, sun catcher paints, sorry. All right. 
These paints do take a little bit longer to dry and you want them to be dried completely before you move on to the next step. Otherwise you will um, possibly paint your cap shut. So we don't want that. Some are a little goopier than others. This green happens to be one of the goopy ones. You can always add a very little bit of water to smooth out your paint. Okay. Time on the same color with the same color. Make it just a little bit thicker. If you have glue and glitter and you want to do that, you could use it. Or if you have acrylic paints, either your own or left over from other programs that other kits that we've had, you could decorate it that way. Sharpie markers would work. Nice smooth strokes, leaving a fairly thick coat. Because when this dries, it is going to dry transparent so that you can see through it, like a, like a sun catcher or stained glass window. Okay, so going through with my second coat. You want to make sure you cap your paints up and set them aside for later because I'm going to show you, while this is drying, I'm going to show you something you can do with your leftover paints. Okay. That second coat gets a little easier to do. Smooth strokes. An even thick layer of paint. Okay. There's the blue. It's really pretty. You could do this with any size jar. If you have a jar at home, you have a mason jar or an old baby food jar washed out. I'm gonna shake up that green, it was a little goopy. Okay. And one more coat. does just want to be thick, doesn't it? That's a little better. Okay. So when you've got it the way you want it, you can set it aside and let it dry. You want to let it dry for a good long time, 12 hours, overnight. Or if you, as in the past, if you um, have a hair dryer, you can use a hair dryer to speed up the process. So I'm going to set mine aside to dry and in the meantime, I'm going to show you what you can do with your extra paints. Now there's always the possibility you're going to want to go back over again. So don't use all your paints and don't throw them away. But I gave you a good amount of paint in each of those. And that is why I gave you this clear plastic plate so that you could use your paints. And I'm going to start with the orange. 
because I didn't use that one. Okay. And you can make yourself a sun catcher with the clear plastic plate. And I'm going to just do... A nice thick. I don't know how the goop, the little solid spots are going to come out, but we'll find out when it dries. I'm going to do a nice thick S. We live in Syracuse, or a suburb of Syracuse, anyways. And I went to Syracuse, so I'll do an orange S. Fill that right in. Okay. I'll take the blue. You could do flowers or designs or swirls or anything that you want. I'm just going to do something. And you can cover the whole thing with paints. And then when you've got it all done the way you want it, As you can see, unlike acrylic paints, which get not chalky, but like really opaque as they're drying, suncatcher paints or window paints, stained glass paints, whatever you want to call them, move in the opposite direction and they get really translucent. So we're just going to leave that. So when you've got your sun catcher the way you want it mine is just going to be syracuse s you want to set that aside and let it dry completely be careful touching it to test it because you will leave fingerprints in it and they'll show when the sun shines through so i'm going to set that aside to let it dry and i'm going to grab my hair dryer and blow dry this to dry it completely actually i'm going to add a little bit more of the green Appears to be drying okay. Let me add a little bit more. Green got a little goopy, I'm not sure why. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit more there. You can see I'm painting with the flat of the brush and just kind of putting on a nice thick layer. Okay, I am going to go use my hair dryer to dry this. I will be right back and I will show you how we're going to finish it and what to do with it after. Okay, so I've let it dry 
well, I blow dry. I used my hair dryer. And it's still a little tacky in some spots where it's a little thicker, but I wanted to show you that green stayed a little goopy. You can always put more paint on top of it. You could use different colors. You could layer the paints. Um, do any kind of fun design that you want. I'm going to leave mine very simple, just like that. Set the paints aside. And now, just to fancy it up a little, you've got a ribbon. So we're just going to take that ribbon and tie it around. Like that. Just so it's pretty. You could tie a bow. Okay. And then we have our cover. And... I have our little label that I set aside. Oh, it's right here in plain view. So we have a little label and it's perfectly the right size to go on the top. So what you're going to do is write something on it. And I think I'm going to write. Twenty, twenty one. joy and peace. Those are my words for 2021. Joy and peace. And peel it off. I cut mine a little funky so it's not perfectly round. Yours should all be perfectly round. And put that right in the middle. And then you put it right on top and you've got your jar. And that's your memory jar for 2021. Now, you also have these sheets, and you can use anything at all that you want to keep track of your memories. Um, I thought these were pretty. If you would rather use little post-it notes or just little slips of colored paper, whatever you would like to keep track of your memories. But I thought if we cut that out, and you can keep your little pieces, your little slips of paper right next to the memory jar where you'll remember to write down your favorite memories as the year goes on. And so you just take your pen and we'll say today is 12, 17, 2020. Welcome. 2021 be nice and open your jar you can roll it you can fold them however you want to do it and drop your memory in there and then as the year goes on you'll drop more and more memories in And you can see, that's why I like to use the, the glass paint, because you can see that there's memories in there. And it will remind you that you need to keep putting your memories in. And then next year, on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day or whatever day it is that you prefer, you open this jar and you pour out all the memories and you read them in no particular order and you remember what a wonderful year it was. Okay? And then your sun catcher that you've made... Mine isn't quite dry yet. I didn't I didn't blow dry this one with my hair dryer. Your sun catcher that you made, you can set in a window. You can set on a shelf where the sun will shine through it. You can put it pretty much wherever you want. You could even glue a string and hang it in a window so that the sun will shine through and it will be beautiful every time you look at it. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you have had a wonderful year. I hope you have a great new year and the rest of your holiday season. The next Teen Take and Make kit, the video will be available the second Thursday of January, and registration for that kit will actually start on New Year's Eve. Okay, we're, we're closed for the holidays on Christmas Eve and Christmas, and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, so you'd be able to pick up that kit for the first time on that Saturday, January 2nd. 
Again, my name is Lori. I am the teen librarian at Manlius Library. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy New Year and happy crafting.